back to 26 acres outdoors and it's that time again to do some cooking so we're going to cook our mud bugs crawfish crawdads whatever you want to call them <clears throat> and make some crayfish etouffee tonight um so first step is we got to we got to purge them out so there's our little our little guys if you don't purge them out they're going to taste like mud it's like garbage we're basically just going to keep we're going to just add some water Fill it up, swish them around, and then just keep dumping them back and forth until the water actually turns clean. Because you'll see in a minute, it gets a little brown. Usually about three times. Just kind of shake them up. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that. It's brown. So, I usually have a strainer of sorts, but I forgot it out back. I'm just going to transfer them into the, the pot. That, was, that one's no good. He was a little soft. Let the coons eat him. Or actually, where I threw it, probably my dog. Brings out the stuff. I can strain them out a little better. And we're just going to do that a few times. Get some nice ones. Big old claws on them. Nice and clean. All right, let's get into the kitchen. All right, we got our water boiling, and we're gonna add a little zar zatarans, crab boil, crawfish boil, shrimp boil, while we boil our water for our crawdads. And we got our rice boiling. Water for that, we use the Carolina jasmine rice. Right, let's get it uh, going. We'll cook those things up. And pick them out, and then we'll in uh, the meantime we'll chop up some other stuff. Okay, she's a boiling. Mmm, smell that. We've got our rice is just about done. We gonna get our crawdaddies, put them in the pot. On in. Ow! That one bit me. Still alive, a little, a little lively. All right, a full pot out a little bit. All right, they in there. We're gonna let it bring it back up to a boil, and then let it boil for about three minutes, and then shut them off and let them sit there 15, and we're gonna pick them out, and we'll get crack a lacking on our uh, crayfish to bay. It's so close to making a mess. Stay. <whistles> Smells good. This is up. Kill it and cover it. Wait 15. Okay, here's what we need for our crayfish etouffee. We got crayfish are boiling. I'm going to pick them out. And then uh, we're going to need green pepper, bell pepper. We're going to need butter. We're going to need half a cup of flour plus two teaspoons of flour. Or tablespoons, rather. But if I just heap it up, that's the same thing. So, a little tomato paste, parsley, green onions, celery, water, and then you can use chicken stock, shrimp stock. In my case, we save our turkey stock. So I'm gonna use turkey stock, and we're gonna need a cup of water. Um, and the other things, and since we're a little short on this crayfish, I'm gonna chop up some, some fresh scallops into little bits, oops. And uh, we're gonna add that to our crayfish shake to bake. The rice is done. so. Well, let's get cutting this up, and then we'll make our uh, make a crayfish a to pay. Get our roux sauce going. All right, we'll show you how we get that going on. The ingredients we're gonna need is a bay leaf, salt and pepper, cayenne pepper. If you want that thing to have a little kick to it, um, and I think that's about it. And yes, there's supposed to be like a quarter cup of this, a half a cup of this, a cup of like the vegetables. Like you can't put too many in. Just kind of look 
go by sight because it's all adding flavor to it. So the only thing I really measure is like flour, um, the chicken broth that says with a shrimp uh, um, stock, it, if you're going to use that, it says one can. Well, that's more than a can, but I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, um, you know, in a cup of water. But other than that, I mean, come on, most of the time we cook, we're not measuring everything out unless we're making cookies and baking a cake. So let's get this going. cooked up. Now we got to get to picking. You pick them, throw the shells in the bucket. This takes a little bit. So let me get to it. that look folks scallops crayfish etouffee I'm just gonna put some rice up on here whoops a little rice 
Oh yeah, looks good. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> All right, let's give it a little try. Crawl down. Mm. That's good. Uh, just enough spice. Oh, that's good. And that's the first time I put scallops in it. It gives it a little different taste, but uh, it goes right along with it. So, it'll come out different every time with most of my recipes. But they're good. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you want. And uh, maybe you guys should go catch yourself some crayfish and uh, make some a Catch you next time.